facial rigging is a little different from the rigging that we've done for the rest of the semester. Because, of course, when we think of rigging, we think of joints and bones. And joints form rotation points. Bones form connections between joints. When I look at a skull, like this one that I've got here, you'll note that there is really only one big rotation point, and that is right here at the back of the jaw, which forms this little angle and comes down to the front. So this, you'll also note, is right, right by the ear. And that's about it. I mean, yeah, your eyes rotate, but pretty much everything else on the skull that moves moves because of muscles. So with facial rigging, yes, we're going to do some joints because we do need to form that rotation point with the jaw. But after that, the major thing that we have to worry about is how to simulate all of this really careful muscle activity around the eyes, down the cheek, through the base of the nose and the chin, and of course, all of this stuff up in the forehead and the brow. So having a facial diagram and understanding that most of the stuff that you see on the human face is caused more by joints, which tense and relax, than by muscles, is going to be really key. The third issue with facial rigging is that in addition to just understanding that we will be using very few bones, more things to simulate muscle, is that there are some standard expressions that people need to be able to make with a facial rig so that they can simulate people talking. Um, these expressions are called phonemes, which are just these standard mouth sounds, the shapes that we make in order to create certain just the letters and like the th, who, oh. And if you look at yourself in a mirror, you'll find that your mouth probably makes expressions that are similar to all of these. Now, each of these issues is going to require a different solution. So we'll be stepping through facial rigging in just a few stages. We will do one with joints and bones, and then we'll talk about a couple of different things we can do for muscle simulation. And finally, we'll move into phonemes, and after all of that, we will finally throw a rig together. So this is going to be a lengthy process. Belt yourselves in, relax, and just prepare to move through this in stages. Okay. Take a minute, grab yourself some internet, and maybe start finding some diagrams that you think are going to be helpful to you as you go through this process. And when you're ready, come over to Maya, join me in the model, and we will get going.